look at it, Miami is a, a quality opponent, and we have a chance now to play an opponent that with us going into the ACC next season. This is going to be the start of it for us. And a lot of our players, they know a lot of players from the, uh, Miami because they grew up together. You know, some played in the offense league together. They were in the rec league together. So very, it's two teams that are very familiar with one another. But this is big for our program because now you have a quality opponent. Opponent from the ACC, that is a really good football team. Not only to have the game in Miami and in, in Orlando, but to have Miami as the opponent to, for all the guys, that the future guys that you guys will recruit to get your name out there also. Well, you, we're always going to recruit the state of Florida. And so now you just, it's another chance for the, just everyone across the country to see our program. And, you always want, and that's what you want to see. You want to make sure that when you – play a game or anytime you have a chance to be a representative of this program and that's what we're doing then the recruits have a chance to watch us play and anyone that we're going to recruit for future recruits they're sitting there watching this game the, Miami has one of the better blocking offensive lines in the country they've only allowed I think it's like 13 sacks this year or something how do you actually generate that pass rush with the guys that you do have who have been very successful this year doing well, but that, Miami will be the best offense we face all year, and they do they do a great job of protecting their quarterback, and they have a great balance between run and pass. So what we got to do is we have to be able to play well. We're going to have to play well. And it's not so much, you know, we're trying to go get the sacks, but we have to play in all phases from the run game to the pass game and just make sure that, you know, with, with that, with Miami being who they are, not being not giving up the big play in the throwing game because they have receivers, not only with the offensive line, they have the receivers that can put pressure on our defensive backs. They can run. They're very athletic. What have you seen in terms of the film from Stephen Morris when he is moving around versus comfortable in the pocket? What have you seen the differences between those? Well, with people not being able to get pressure on him, he, has to, he doesn't have to move around a lot because he's getting rid of the ball. But the, the thing about Morris is he's an excellent passer, does a great job of throwing the deep ball because he has the guys that can run and go get it. How do you assess the season? I mean, did, did it meet your expectations? What goals were met and what, what goals still remained out there? Well, we're sitting here, how we, we're 11 and 1, so it met my expectations. And, you know, we let one get away from us. But still, though, you, you're looking at a, a team that, you know, each year it got better. You're looking at a senior class that is 36 and 15, 20, uh, 22 and 3 over the last two years. So, yes, it did meet our expectations. And, and you know, we're going to play in a bowl game that we're playing against a quality opponent. How do you motivate for a bowl? You seem to have the ability to, to keep your guys motivated, interested, focused. Well, it's, it's, it's who you play, and it's your opponent, and it's, it's all about how uh, we go about our business and how we go about our work. And with them finishing finals, we'll get we'll really start practice and, prep, and our preparation will start on the 18th, and then we'll go until the 22nd. Then we'll go down to Orlando, give them some time where they can enjoy themselves. Because even now, with a stand in Louisville, we're going to practice in the morning. You let them have the afternoon off, and then when we get to the bowl site, the same work. And then guys understand it's a business trip that they're going to have fun also. Mm -hmm. You've had, you talked about the season and the one loss that got away. And you've talked a lot about the culture. Because so many people were upset you didn't go undefeated, is that a change in the culture? I mean, do you feel like people are, are coming around, your fan base is coming around to, to being football fans? Well, what our fans had to realize, and this is a great lesson for us all, not only for our fans, but for our, it's so hard to go undefeated. And when you do lose a football game, it's not the end of the world. But we didn't let that game beat us twice. And then what our players were able to do, they were able to bounce back and they were able to go win out. And they ended up 11 and 1. So we just had to realize that, you know what, it's, it's, it's all about making sure that we go get better and then just making sure that we finish out and don't let one loss beat us twice. Everybody always talks about Teddy and his future, and they ask questions. What do you tell all your guys? You've got not just Teddy, I mean, other guys that might have that opportunity at some point. What do you tell your guys about the future and their future? Well, I, I really don't talk about it. I tell them at the end of the season, we'll sit down and talk, and whatever decision they make, I'm 100% behind them if I think it's the right decision. If it isn't, then I'm going to offer my advice and just tell them what I actually feel and how, and how they should go about it. Charlie, as a, as a head coach who's obviously been successful now a couple years in a row, how do you handle all the speculation and talk about you leaving for other jobs and, and all that stuff? 
Well, I don't even think about it. I don't even worry about it. I know I have a job here. I have a really good job here. There's a lot of work for me to be done here. And so the only thing I can control is what's happening right here. So I just don't want to make sure that I allow that to take away from our bold preparation or allow that to, to, to hinder in anything I'm trying to do for this university so I don't even get caught up in it. I just make sure that but we work here, I got, where we go to practice here, we're making sure that everything is getting done here and that we're staying on track. I mean, are you surprised <clears throat> that your people are, all these ESPN guys and Sports Illustrated, they're all talking about you in this way? Or? Well, I, I always look at it like this. Four years ago, I didn't have a job. And now that I do have a job, then I get out to talk. Right. I didn't have a job, so nobody wanted me. Now that I do have a job, it's felt like it's what you get every year. But it, it's a tribute to our coaching staff, to our players, and what we've gotten accomplished. You've heard a lot about <clears throat> scheduling this year, about who's on the schedule. The next 15 games, you're scheduled to, to take on the national champion, the national runner-up. You know, you're playing both Florida State and Auburn. Uh, Heisman you, a Heisman winner. I mean, <laughs> the ske these next 15 games, is it a relief at all that you never have to worry about schedule stuff again? Well, what's the relief is that our fans get the chance to watch a quality opponents. Mm -hmm. And now they get to watch the Miamis, they get to watch the Clemsons, they get to watch uh, NC State in uh, Florida State. So now they get then. And so what's going to be great is the, when we talk about schedule, who we're playing, now they're going to say, well, you know, we go play Miami. So they're going to get excited. And that's what you want. You want to bring in excitement and passion into your fan base. And that's what we're going to do with this schedule now. So now they have a chance. And when they look at the home schedule, even when they look at the away schedule, now they're saying, hey, well, we, they're playing somebody. And and you will get the fans. And now the fans will be traveling with us because they're, they're going to want to go into Death Valley. They're going to. They're going to want to go and, and watch and, and see, you know, go to Florida State and to Tallahassee. They're going to want to see that. When you see that <clears throat> schedule ahead, does it, what, what emotions come? Is it excitement? Is it uh, nervousness? Is it, is it, I mean, it's going to be tough. Well, you know, what you try to do, how is, is not to look at I mean, who you're playing. You just got to go game by game and, and just make sure that you have your team focused and ready. And it's going to be tough because now it's going to be a measuring stick of just how far we are, how far behind we are, where, how far we need to go, and just the work that we need to go get and, and just and how much we have to go recruit because it is going to come down that we, we have to go recruit now at the ACC level. You got a jump start on the recruiting class with so many guys that committed early and can't talk about them yet. But are you pleased with where it's at now? And, and now it's just a matter of, of hanging on to guys and finishing up the class. Well, you, you have to hang on because the signing date's not till February, and then there's going to be guys maybe leave. Maybe probably you can add new, new guys, but you're always looking to get better, and you, you want to make sure that the guys that you have committed are just and you want to go make it better and improve it. So you're probably going to have to go recruit some more. How much, though, has this year <clears throat> and the success helped you get into more doors or, or close more doors maybe uh, than, than you would have a couple years ago? Well, it's just what you're moving into our new conference. I think that has a lot to do with it because now you have something to tell the players because there's some stability from our program. And now you have a chance to just say, hey, you're going to be going to Tallahassee or Tallahassee's going to be coming to you with Florida State or you're going to be going to Boston College or Boston College. But it's all about the, the opponent. And I think that that's what get the players when you're recruiting, that's what get them aroused because now they're feeling like, hey, who they're playing. And, and that's where you can always take your program and say, this is what we got. This is who we're going to go play now. Charlie, <clears throat> when you – like last year after you won the Sugar Bowl, and I'm assuming you'll have similar process after this bowl game. What are some of the things that you might hope to see in the future from this program now that you guys have put together back-to-back 11-1 -to -back seasons? Well, we still have to build, and we still have to recruit well. And then, and within the program, you know, it's it's, it's a lot that can be done because, you know, when we talk about just facilities, we're going to talk about updating our facilities and, and getting them up to par. Because now, when when you walk into the ACC, there's some really nice facilities all across the country. But we we know where we have to get there. But it, it's a lot to, to get accomplished. And but we we're on track, and we know where we have to get to. And those discussions are going to come. When you're out recruiting and, and talking to, to prospects who have either already committed or who might consider you guys, are you hearing what other schools are saying about you guys and, and what is that and how do you kind of combat that stuff? 
Well, you know, what happens, a lot of schools, when you're up and coming, they're always going to have something to say. And when you're winning, they have a lot to say. But the thing that we can do is is that we've proven, you know, we've proven that we can be successful. So our work have been proven. So whatever they say, if it's, it's, it's negative, then, you know, the players are going to tell you what they're saying. But if we don't, I don't ever worry about another school. Only thing I try to do is recruit from what we have and what we have within our program. Two schools in the Pac-10 and one in the SEC are, are downsizing their stadiums, making their stadiums smaller. It, it, it seems like Louisville's on a completely different trajectory. I mean, do you feel like this fan base is still building? Well, the, the fan base will build when when the, your quality of opponents build because mm -hmm. they're going to want to come in and see. And then what happens, they're going to travel. So when whomever you're playing against, they're going to bring in. And so it, it, it's good that we're, we're looking to expand. And I, and I think our fan base will expand with us. How pleased have you been with not only the, 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 the turnout at the Sugar Bowl, which we've talked about before, but you know they're selling out the home games. They're, they're, it feels like there's momentum. Well, it is momentum. But you, when you have a, a, a fan base that is passionate, a fan base with a lot of enthusiasm, then you're going to get the sellouts. And that's what's happening right now because you have those fans. And, 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 but fans want to see quality opponent. They want to see good football played. And they, and, and they want to feel like they're a part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to do. we got to make them a part of it. And, it's, and we have to continue to make them a part of it and let, let them know that this is their university, this is their football team, this is their athletic department, it's all about them. My last thing, Christmas in Orlando. I mean, it's different at bowl games, obviously, but uh, fun, the whole staff, the whole team. Everybody and, and I'm assuming maybe a Disney visit somewhere in, along the way. Well, what what happens when we get down? Um, we'll go down, and so the players will have an opportunity to go to Disney or go to Universal, or whatever. And then on Christmas Day, we have something planned just for the whole team. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, and then I think our players will enjoy it. And uh, it's really a good bowl game for them.